Okay. This video might be sideways. I'm not sure. My iPad has a mind of its own. If it is, just turn your cell phone around or whatever you're watching this on. I have something that I need to talk about. So, <sighs> I know I should be practicing right now, and I will get to that. However, when I was eating lunch this afternoon, let's see what time is it now? Eh, not that long ago. I, the news was on, and I saw a news story, and at first I didn't think anything of it, um, but then as I was watching the story unfold, um, I, something caught my eye. And normally, <laughs> I would just let it roll off my back and not think about it again. But I actually think this is pretty important to talk about, so that's why I jumped on here. Um, and depending on how this video goes, I might post it on my YouTube because that's how serious I am about this particular subject. <laughs> um, so, the news story that I saw, I actually looked it up on Google after I saw it the second time in less than, I don't know, an hour. Or, on the hour. Hi, Ace. <laughs> um, so, I looked it up just to compare, you know, article with news story. Like, the kind that you actually hear and watch on TV. So, <sighs> it was about, and let me get his name right, because I'm not an NFL person. Um, a former Carolina Panthers wide receiver, Ray... Carbooth, I think that's how you say his last name, took his first steps as a free man in nearly 19 years, leaving the Samson Correctional Institution after serving his prison sentence for plotting, for plotting, for plotting the death of his pregnant girlfriend. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm glad he served his time for the evil that he tried to commit. Um, and he deserved that time. However, in this article, it says that, let me find it, Caruth was convicted in 2001 for a conspiracy to commit murder using an instrument with intent to destroy an unburnt unborn child and discharging a firearm into occupied property in the shooting near his home in 1999. That led to the death of his girlfriend or whoever you want to call her. I think her name was uh, Charissa Adams. And it says that Caruth's son I think his name is Chancellor Lee Adams. Um, I guess the hitman that he hired testified that Cruz wanted him dead so that he wouldn't have to pay child support. So Cruz wanted his child dead so that he wouldn't have to pay. And his child was born premature. Um, and suffers from cerebral palsy. So, I feel like the article did a good job at distinguishing the difference between the gunshots 
and cerebral palsy. Like, the article didn't make it sound like the gunshots had caused the child cerebral palsy. The article said that because of the gunshots, the child was born premature. And that, in turn, causes cerebral palsy. Which, I'm cool with that. The article, it was well written. Um, but what I have a problem with is the news story that ran. So, the news story, it, and I'm sure that they didn't mean to misinform but the fact is, they did. The news story said that the gunshots caused the cerebral palsy. Gunshots don't cause cerebral palsy. Like, I can see how they can make the connection between the gunshots and the cerebral palsy. Because, like, and I keep saying, like, a lot. I'm sorry. The gunshots caused distress to the mother, which caused her to give birth early. And I don't know all the details, but I do know from personal experience that a stressful birth will cause cerebral palsy. <laughs> I know this. I have it. Um, so there's that, but the news reporter made it sound like the gunshots had caused the cerebral palsy, and that's just not true. Like, you don't go your whole life and, God forbid, get shot. And then end up with cerebral palsy. That's not how it works. <laughs> Thank goodness that's not how it works. I wouldn't wish this upon anyone. But you are either born with cerebral palsy or you're not. There's nothing you can do in this life that can make you get cerebral palsy if you were not born with it. And I know, like I said earlier, the news guy probably did not mean to misinform, but I just keep thinking, like, they only film that story once, and then they replay it throughout the entire day. So there's no telling, like, how many times they're going to play that story, and how many times people are going to see it, and they're automatically going to think. Because they heard it on the news that gunshots cause cerebral palsy. And who would blame them? Whoops, I dropped my phone. <sighs> who would blame them for thinking that? Because normally, you believe what you hear what most people. A select few do not, but... Most people tend to believe what they hear on the news. And this frustrates me. <laughs> this frustrates me so bad. <laughs> this is how people get misinformed. And there's nothing I can really do about it other than make videos like this telling you this is not the case this is not it's not the case so if you happen to see this news story that i saw not too long ago let me know maybe i misheard what he said I'm hoping I misheard or misinterpreted what he said. And excuse my stuffy nose. The weather is like driving me crazy. Um, but 
but maybe I misinterpreted what he said. I hope I did. I hope I heard him wrong. But God, like, if I heard him right, I, I don't even know how to, there's nothing I can do to fix it. And it makes me so frustrated. I'm going to get off here now because I'm just rambling. But I hope you feel my pain. I hope you forgive me for my ramblings. I hope you at least understand where I'm coming from. And God forbid if you ever hear someone say that gunshots cause cerebral palsy or anything causes cerebral palsy other than a bad birth. Please, for the sake of me and everyone that lives with this horrible disability, please correct them. <laughs> I hope you have a good day. And I hope that, I don't know, maybe you can inform people today. I love you guys. Bye.